Hi YouTube family. So today's recipe is going to be mac and cheese. As you can see, I've already boiled my macaroni noodles and I put just a small amount of butter in here. I didn't want to add too much butter because we're going to also add some different cheeses to this as well. But the difference with this mac and cheese is going to be that I'm going to bake it in the muffin pan here. So I saw this idea on Pinterest and I thought it would be a good idea, especially since we're still going through this COVID pandemic. I figured, you know, making the individual portion sizes will be a great idea, um, especially if you're planning to have a smaller family gathering this Thanksgiving. And also just to have the, you know, smaller portion size and it will just kind of help you to eat less and it will be a nice presentation as well. So I've already boiled my noodles and I added just a small amount of butter as I stated. So to this I'm going to add garlic powder, onion powder, um, some black pepper, um, some ground mustard, and then I have some sharp cheddar cheese here, and then I also have the mozzarella cheese now you can definitely get fancy with the cheeses and use some different um, versions of um, cheese that there's so many different versions out there so you can definitely get fancy with that um, but this is all that I had on hand so I'm just gonna stick to the basic cheddar and mozzarella and then I'm also going to be adding cream cheese so I'm gonna be adding about one-third of a block of cream cheese so I'm gonna go ahead and add that in there And um, so what I'm going to do, and I'm also adding an egg, I forgot about that. So I'm going to go ahead and get everything mixed up. Once I get the mixture together, I will come back and let you see how I put it in the muffin pan. And then we'll bake that and we'll come back and show the final product. So let me go ahead and get this mixed up and I'll be right back with you guys. All right, so, so far um, I've added my butter and I've added my garlic powder, pepper, onion powder, and I added some salt. And I didn't mention the salt in the beginning because I almost forgot about that. But you still don't want to add too much salt because you're going to get a lot, a lot of saltiness from the cheese itself. Um, and then I did forget one of the most important components. We're going to add a cup of milk. So I'll be right back with you once I get everything combined here. All right, you guys, so I've added all of my ingredients except for the egg. And the reason I haven't added that yet is because I do want to taste the mixture and just make sure that it's seasoned um, to my liking. And you want to do that before you put that raw egg in there. So um, just be mindful if you're making something like this to, um, if you want to taste it and make sure that you have all the seasoning flavor in there. And make sure that you do that before you add the raw egg. So I'm going to go ahead and taste this off camera. And then I'll add my egg and I'll be right back with you guys when I'm ready to start loading it up in the pan. All right, you guys, so I have everything mixed up here and I've added my egg. So I'm going to go ahead and place this in the muffin pan. And this is a 12 count muffin pan. And once I get it in there, I'm going to add some cheese on top and I'm going to put it in the oven. You would bake it on 350 for about 30 minutes. Um, so I'm going to go ahead and get it in the pan and I'll let you see it before it goes in the oven. All right, you guys, so I have everything um, loaded up in the muffin pan, and it made 12, as I stated before, and I topped it with some just some sharp cheddar. So I'm going to go ahead and put this in the oven on 350 for about 30 minutes, and you can kind of um, check it if you're making this, um, because I know everybody's oven may cook a little differently. So just kind of check it midway and make sure that everything's going good. Um, so I'm going to come back to you guys once I take it out the oven and let you know how it turned out. All right, you guys, so I just took them out of the oven and I had them in there for approximately 30 minutes exactly. So I'm going to let them cool for about 10 minutes and then I will plate them up and I'm just going to serve them with some green beans. And then I have some chicken leg quarters. Um, I got this from Harris Teeter and this is the baked chicken. You get two in a pack. And normally I don't even like dark meat, but I tried these at Harris Teeter and they cook them really good and they're seasoned very well and they're just really good. So they're $3.99 and like I said, you get two leg quarters in the pack. So I'm going to serve it with that. So I'm going to be back with you guys once these cool. And I guess the trick is going to be if they come out of the pan and stay together. I'm hoping that that works out. So we'll see in just a moment. So I'm going to come back to you guys in about 10 minutes. 
All right, you guys, so I'm so excited. They came out of the muffin pan perfectly. I'm going to give you a close-up on those. I didn't put them all in the bowl because they wouldn't fit, but that's how they look. They look very good, and they're not dry at all. I think that cream cheese adds a lot of creamy texture to it, so they won't be dry. So I'm going to show you guys the plate here. So we have um, the chicken leg quarter. Like I said, I got that from Harris Teeter. Have a side of green beans and then the macaroni and cheese muffins. So I'm gonna just cut into this and let you guys see the inside of it to let you know that it's not dry and just let you see what it looks like. It's very cheesy. See, it's steaming and it's very cheesy. Um, so it's not dry at all. So this was definitely a good idea and I think it would be a good idea to serve for Thanksgiving. Like I said, it would help with portion control. And I think it's just a cute idea where everybody can just pick up a muffin instead of dipping out of the pan. So it's very um, a very good idea. Um, it's very, I'm gonna taste it for you guys real quick. Yes, yeah, definitely very good, very cheesy. The flavors are all there. So I'm going to link the recipe below. And um, since Thanksgiving is coming up, I wanted to give you guys a few different um, recipes for different side dishes that you can cook for Thanksgiving. So I'm going to be incorporating that into my videos between now and Thanksgiving. I'll probably do maybe two to three more different sides that you can um, add to your Thanksgiving meal. And they're just the traditional sides, but I'm just gonna try to put my little spin on it. So I hope you guys try this. Um, like I said, it's very good. I'm gonna link the recipe below. And um, like I said, um, as always, thank you so much for watching. Continue to like, comment, and subscribe. And comment down below and let me know if this is something that you'd be interested in doing this Thanksgiving. And um, I will definitely catch you guys on the next one.